Hey, I'm Hazard. Hey, I'm Thunderstruck. And we're the 2v2 duo for NRG. And 4-3 game battle. Miner goes in, Miner gets picked up, and they just need a fireball. There it is. So Hazard is back in the 2v2 mix, and he starts it off with a very nice set win, him and Thunderstruck. Uh, for me, the most fun part about playing 2v2s is just being able to win and experience the game with someone. I mean, forever I was playing by myself as 2v2 wasn't available, but just being able to trust someone to make the right plays and just see things work out with coordination and stuff like that, it's a really cool feeling when it works. Being able to win with your partner on stage is the best feeling in the world. It's, the hype is unreal, and that's why I like 2v2. Snowball's always a good cycle. Yeah. In 2v2, you can cycle a lot easier just because you have 20 elixir rather than 10. So there's a lot more room for being lenient with uh, both aggression and defense. Well, the at the start is also a very safe play because they're not able to pressure the opposite lane since they split. That's a great observation. Thank you. Look at that. Fisherman obviously really strong with recruits because it pulls them all together and just instead of having two split lane, it's like all one just big clump of recruits. Mm -hmm. Ram Rider just to cycle basically. Uh, they played a pretty aggressive lightning, so I think it's fine. This and, round rider connects too. Yeah, and we, at this point we pretty much knew what, what they were playing because they played Royal Giant in the first game. We had played the same matchup when we had won, so we felt pretty confident at this point. A great Magic Archer there by Thunderstruck. I'm going to pause it right here. So this is exactly what you want to do with this deck. So Royal Recruit's going down both lanes. you got Magic Archer getting a ton of chip damage against the Executioner, then Ram Rider to pressure opposite lane. That way they can't defend the Magic Archer, and Ram Rider is also very strong on its own. It's going to get 500 damage if it connects to tower while charging, so really solid play there. Yeah, you also see that Baron is at exactly 4 elixir, and he's going to have to fireball the Magic Archer, or else the Magic Archer will get hundreds and hundreds of damage, and that will leave him with 0 elixir and not able to help Chris to defend. Does he fireball? Um, I'm pretty sure he fireballed. Yeah, 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 what a play, what a play by Thunderstruck. <laughs> And now their elixir's all out of whack. We're up elixir and the ram rider connects. Oh, and what a musketeer. Oh, that was me. Pro tip. That was me. Pro tip right there. Yes, pro tip. I should make a pro tip video on this. Oh, Is that what we're doing right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they have to defend the musket. Would have gotten a hit, I think. Um, so just clean guards. Well, not the cleanest. <laughs> but they, they got the job done. Yeah. Let's not be too nitpicky here. We just reset here and do the exact same thing as we just did for Splish. Yeah, we're up so much damage, we're up Elixir. There's no need to uh, be over aggressive in 2v2, because in 2v2, one thing that you can do a lot more than 1v1, especially in single Elixir, is just massive counter pushes. I mean, that push that we got in single Elixir is something that you never even dream of in, t in double Elixir in 1v1, but it's pretty easily easily done in 2v2. Oh, what a lightning. Ram Rider gets a ton of damage. Big lightning. And now they mess up with the giant skeleton behind the RG. That's not what you want. Yeah, usually you want your giant skeleton to be tanking for the RG, and the RG does a lot of damage in the back. And then that way, once the giant skeleton dies, the bomb kills all the support troops, so the RG is basically left, uh, left unscathed unless it's by radiance troops like a cannon or a musketeer. But with that mistake, they got no damage with RG. And we're up, split laning. Uh, we've split damage perfectly, so it's a really solid game so far. You see this fisherman? I think this is a fisherman that just has infinite value. It keeps on pulling things, and the things it pulls just die so fast. Nah, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> you're talking about there. I Although, messed up on that one. Double Royal Recruit still gives us a nice lightning value against the Executioner. And as you can see here, their whole push is dead. Um, they can't counter push or anything. The giant skeleton is basically wasted. And they only have one giant skeleton, so they can't uh, push with an RG without it. So that was pretty good by us. That's one of the great things about Velvet Kits. It's so hard to kill them fast, so they just get infinite defense value and are even good on offense. Bit of a miscommunication right there, um, which gives our RG a good bit of damage. I mean, 2v2 is basically just as punishing in 1v1. It's so much harder because you have to you know, be fluid with each other. It's not a bad musketeer necessarily, but it forces me to play my cannon over on the right side, which then gets hit by the log. So. Bit of a miscommunication there, but it's still a fine defense. They go super aggro here. Oh, and watch this Magic Archer. It gets so much Oh much yeah, this is, yeah, this is the one that wins the game. Big fireball there by Thunderstruck. Magic Archer's still alive. Uh, maybe it wasn't as big as I thought it was. They have to play an E-Wiz on it, so it's uh, fine. Yeah. And we just ignore that E-Wiz because they've already got damage on the opposite tower, so defending it would be a waste. Yeah, it's super hard to split lane with RG. I believe this is where we win. 
Um, lightning goes down, it kills the cage, it hits a dark burn shield, but it doesn't really matter. Paramarder <laughs> connects, and... And, and from here we just Thunder doesn't fireball, I get so nervous, I thought we were going to lose. <laughs> Thunder, wanna, fireball! I just want to scare you. Cycle faster I just cards, scare oh you. my <laughs> god, my pressure in. Okay, and we take the other tower, right? Oh, there we go, you got pranks. We tried to get both towers just we to help our We did not try to get both towers, I was so <laughs> nervous. I thought he choked, but... <laughs> Alright, we won. Let's go! Alright, good work. You too. For me, 2v2 is one of the most exciting sets because it's fairly new in the realm of esports and competition. So there's a lot of room to be made. I mean, for example, the Royal Recruits deck, it's something that I never would have thought been possible, but then I saw Immortals running it, and it's one of the main staples of 2v2 right now. So I think there's just a lot of room to grow, and there's a lot of experimentation, and there's a lot of excitement around it, and seeing teams get better and better constantly. One of my favorite parts about 2v2 is unlike 1v1, Matchups aren't as important in 2v2. In 2v2, you can basically win any matchup with any deck, and I think that's a lot more competitive. All right, so currently we are five and three. We're on a five win streak. We had a really rough early season, but with all your support and a little hard work on our part, we managed to get back. So we're in a pretty good spot for playoffs right now. Hopefully, we can keep it up. Thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to watch us on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm Thunderstruck. I'm Hazard. This was Kings Council. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>